Hey kids, um, we're joined by a very special guest today. Apparently he's forgiven me for putting flea stuff on him yesterday and he's spending the afternoon with me in the kitchen. Wait, socks. Oi. Hello. <laughs> Let's look at the look. Does it say, excuse me? If anyone can give a scathing look, it is my cat. <laughs> right, so, it, it, yeah, he's a shit of a cat. Um, it's the 6th of January. I'm making <coughs> jacaranda and red berries. And I... <laughs> I'm a complete idiot because it's a floral and I'm going to attempt the tiger strike with it. So let's see what happens, hey? <laughs> And I'm doing a water discounted goat's milk so, so you know I have all the things ready for disaster so if it's not a disaster it will be a miracle you know it's not it's not like I plan these things well no actually I got a whole heap of testers today from aroma and um, this, I really wanted to do this one because the city up the road, up the road, is um, Grafton and it's really well known for its jacaranda trees. So I um, really wanted to soak with jacaranda. I don't like the smell of it, of course, it's a floral. You know me and florals. But I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a go. And I've been wanting to do a tiger stripe for a while now, so. Whatever, if it doesn't work out, it'll be a nice ploppy soap, so whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I've got um, Wisteria, which is a beautiful pale purple, and Desire, which is it's a very, it's a very rich, I don't know if you can see, it's a rich, very rich red. But it's not like a red red, it's more of a it's a more of a burgundy winey kind of red, so I don't know, a Shiraz red because red because that's kind of what I keep wanting to say. But I don't know, I don't drink, so I'm not entirely sure. to be about the size of it. I don't think I'm going to mix it any more than that <clears throat> with the stick blender. So, well, I will, just not, I'll give these a quick whiz and then that will be it. I'll do the rest of the mixing by hand. So, we'll see what happens. It'll probably go thick and I don't really care. If I cared, I wouldn't use this, but I just, I, know, I thought, why not? Why not? So, you know, I did grapefruit bellini yesterday, which is gross. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever she says, whatever. That's what I have tattooed on my hands. I actually don't know how much these hold, so I probably shouldn't go too stupid. I'm doing white as well. I was going to do black, but um, I thought it might be a bit much, might be a bit heavy with the pale purple. So, and because the red is a deeper red anyway, so yeah, so that's so why I went with the white instead. <coughs> and it's a floral, so I thought it might be nice if it was like lighter in colour to match the scent. It's not, I mean, that's not awful. Like, I didn't immediately put on the, oh my god, I can't use that pile. <laughs> so, because that's how I sorted them out. 
and all those ones are going to be melts. So, because I can't stand them, so if I can't stand something, it becomes a melt. And if people like it, I'll make more melts. And if they don't, then it goes away and never comes back ever again. Purple is such a pain in the ass, isn't it? It's such a morphy colour. A morphy colour. You guys know what I mean. I'm over there. All the way over there. Socks is left. You've got the shits. Not a surprise. That's a really nice colour. I quite like that. Alright. I'll take the spoons out of those. Because I don't need those anymore. So far, so good. I will need the spoons, just not right now. Um... There wasn't much left in there. But I knew there wasn't much left in there, so. Alright, so we're going to go white first, purple second. Alright. that off. Wall over the bench. Hello, socks, you came back. What are you doing? Oh. Got a bubble of six in there now. I ended up with more white, but that's okay. I can live with that. Seriously, that is a yummy colour. So now we get to mix the fragrance in and freak the hell out. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm prepared. I mean, I don't have a plan of what I'm going to do when it happens, but I'm prepared, prepared for it to happen. Did it go on my shirt? It did go on my shirt. doesn't matter. It's just a shirt. All right. So... Cleaning off my um, spatula here so that I can give it a whippy bit around the edges. Alrighty then. I hate it when they do that. It's so annoying. Oh, seriously. The silver bit comes off but the little see-through plastic bit that belongs on the actual back of it doesn't and then it's almost impossible to grab because it's covered in fragrance. <laughs> and now I've got that smell all over my hands. But See, it's floral. So don't get me wrong, it's definitely floral. But because of the berries, it's got like an underlying sweetness. And it kind of takes away from that real... <laughs> Look how thick that is already. Yeah, it kind of takes away from that floraliness floraliness it's a dark fragrance that's for sure all right leave it at that and watch the shit hit the fan hey this does have vanilla content in it so i do not know if it's going to discolor or not um there's nothing in the files on my soap group, so no one has soaked with this and put up any info, so I don't know what's going to happen. I guess I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I know the results of loads of soaps, and I'm always forgetting to put it up on there. I need to go back through all these videos and, um, Post my results, I think. Yeah, that's thickening up. Alright, so. I've got a piece of wood here, which is covered in wax. Yeah, I'm not a very good shot. And we'll do it this way. No, we'll do it that way so you can see what I'm doing. Which is 
going to be difficult. It's very, very thick, so... Yeah, no, this is not going to happen at all, I don't think. I think it's too thick. Especially the white, because it has um, titanium in it. Yeah, it's too thick. Alright. Well, I'll just pour this in so that we've got all three of them down one side at the very least. Oh well. I mean, I knew it was going to go thick, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, that's... No, we were supposed to have white between the two colours. So I didn't even do that right. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not even, yeah, okie dokie, um, well then, what can we do, hey, we'll get rid of that, you know what, I'm going to see if I can't persevere with it. Even if it does look stupid. So purple. It's very thick. <laughs> but it loosens up on it loosens up on a bit of a stir, so If I can give it a bit of a stir, maybe, and then get out of the way. I don't know. Well, who knows what will happen? It won't be a traditional tiger stripe. It'll be something. It just won't be what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so why not why not this is the whole fun of doing soap isn't it might have that sitting a little too far over on the tin because it feels like it wants to tip over so it's Friday night and I should be out but I didn't want to go out so I'm here making soap with you guys instead, which is where I'd much rather be anyway because I don't have to deal with drunk people who think they're funny and having a good time. I can just be at home doing what I want. No, it just cracks me up, you know, it's like people get drunk. And then the next day, someone says, oh, did you have a good time last night? Oh, yeah, I had an awesome time. Yeah, no, you didn't. You just were doing the same thing you were doing when you were sober. You were just drunk and don't remember that it was the exact same thing you were doing. So it wasn't any better than when you were sober. You were just drunk and don't remember. Which I gather is the point. But <laughs> because I don't drink, I don't understand the point. I really do not understand the point of impairing your mind so you think you have a good time even though you're not having a good time. Why not just have a good time? Do something that's good, not judgment impairing. <laughs> I just don't get it. One day someone will be able to explain it to me in a way that I will understand. Until then, I will just stay confused as to why drinking is fun. Because I don't think it's fun at all. But then again, I mean, because I'm bipolar, I don't have a lot of control over my own brain anyway. Which 
Anyone who doesn't have bipolar won't understand that. Um, what it is, is you find yourself saying and doing things. Like, things will come out of my mouth sometimes, and I'll be like, good God, don't say that. Like, you know, I feel like I'm in the back of my head saying to myself, stop saying that. You can't say that. You can't do that. You know, and, and I keep doing it, and I have no control over my own actions. That's what bipolar is like. So I guess that's what being drunk's like. <laughs> Except you're not sitting in the back of your head saying, don't say that. Till the next day, when you're like, oh my god, did I say that? <laughs> so maybe I don't need to drink, because I'm just, like, drunk all the time. I'm as clumsy as a drunk person, that's for sure. I can fall over like one, no problem. Well, somebody's pregnant. That's what they say when you hear kookaburras laugh like that. No, so this is just too thick to be doing much of anything with now. That's not, that's just ridiculously thick. All right, I'll give up at this point. So, let me see if I can't get some more white out. The reds are definitely a lot thicker than the other two. interesting to see what this comes out like I do like these colors together I was a bit iffy when I made them it's sort of like I mean I like both the colors don't get me wrong but I'm sort of it's like ah. but I think I think it will be all right wasn't too drastically bad. Hey. Just soap's a little wonky. There we go. That's, a, that's a little bit better. But yeah, I've got a lot of red left. A lot of red. And a fair bit of purple too, so. What I might do is I might put the red down this side don't really have enough white to put down the middle which is going to be annoying and I'll put the purple down this side I'll see if I can't fit a little bit of white in the middle. I'll scrape it out with the spatula. That should get some out. And then we can do a, an interesting swirl of something on the top, maybe. Possibly. The smell is going to have to be red. This is the same angle that you wash up and on. It kills me. I might not do that. I might just take half of that. I watched an interesting movie before. It's called The Warrior's Gate. It was a little cheesy. It had Dave Batista in it. It was pretty cool. It was about um, a kid who goes into an alternate realm becomes a warrior, falls in love with the princess, blah blah blah, you know, a bit cheesy, like I said. But it was good too, I enjoyed it. Had a bit of a cry, because, you know, that's me, that's what I do. I cry over movies, not real life. Ah, <laughs> oh, you... Mm -mm.
that's not allowed to happen. All right, so we'll go over there. Now, this one, I have to wipe my hands because they're so greasy. All right, it might be too thick. Not. If nothing else, guys, the top looks spiffy. <laughs> Who knows what the inside's going to look like? But seriously, it doesn't smell disgusting. So, so that's a good thing. I um. Oh no! I have no smellies left. Well, crap. That's going to make my life a little difficult, isn't it? I have some, but they are in the sink and in need of washing up. They're all of them, apparently. And I'm just letting this video run and run and run. I didn't even think to do this before I started the soap. That looks pretty good, hey? I actually really do like those colours together. And it won't matter if there's a bit of water in the soap because it's a bit water discounted anyway so it's not like that's going to matter too much all right so what I might do is we get the red out first eh and it's like again it's like every time I make these I'm like why am I showing you this you don't care but then I think well they're my videos so I can do what the hell I want <laughs> you guys don't seem to mind anyway But I'm trying to come up with an intro video. Pfft. I'm just so not good at this stuff. I just I know it's better for your channel if you've got one and I want to do it and I just anything I come up with just sounds so lame and cheesy and I don't really want to be on camera anyway. That's why I'm here and the camera's there. So, yeah, I'm sort of trying to figure out a way that I can have a cool intro vid A without me having to vlog it because I don't really want to do that. And you guys don't want to look at my ugly mug. And, and But, yeah, still have it be just something that's just, you know, 30 seconds long that just explains the channel, blah, 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 and then that be it. I'll figure it out. At some point I'll figure it out. Or I'll just put it in too hard basket and then I'll just never do it. I mean that's entirely likely. <laughs> You're like that no, can't be boy, can't do it, can't do it! It's too hard. Right. I'm a bit excited, I've got some deliveries coming next week that I'm very, very excited to have arrived. They um I've bought a a mini mink machine which if you're not a crafter it's a thing it's a little it's basically a little laminator but it's specifically designed to foil things like put gold and silver and, and colored foil on things so hopefully all my candles will have gold and silver and colored foil labels along with cool swing tags and all of that just so they look a bit more professional unlike the maker <laughs> uh, so yeah so I'm a bit excited about that so because I went I didn't get the you can get there's a bigger machine I didn't get it I just got the six inch one because I figured you know I'm only doing candle stickers and swing tags, they can be, they're less than six inches. Well, they're less than the half that anyway. I can do two wide into it. And um, yeah, so I got the mini mink and then I bought a whole bunch of 
different coloured foils and yeah, stuff. So. so that should be a very fun project next week. I'm really looking forward to that. So I've, I've made up the I've made up the labels already, ready to print out because you have to print them on a on a laser printer because um, foil reactive foil doesn't stick to bubble jet ink; it only sticks to laser jet ink. Laser is it laser jet? I don't think it is. Anyway, it only sticks to the ink that the, the heat one. Like you, your laser printer only runs on heat. Whereas an inkjet, in, inkjet printer squirts out ink onto the paper. So yeah, all right. So there we go. There's that loveliness and some little curly curly ones. And I'll see you for the cutting. Bye. <clears throat> Hi guys, back to cut this beastie. Um, I left it overnight because it wasn't ready when I went to bed. So. I figured I would just wait until this morning. Oh, righto. So it worked out pretty awesome anyway. <laughs> yes. How cool is that? It's not a proper traditional tiger stripe, I guess. But it's still pretty awesome. Woohoo. Yay. And the colours do work, don't they? I'm glad I was... I was thought about darkening up the purple a smidge when I was mixing it and I didn't I'm glad I didn't because the, the pale purple looks really good well wow. no I really like that so yes yeah, so this is a jacaranda of red berries right yeah no 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 I don't hate it don't love it so I don't imagine I would get this again and I don't think it would be special in a candle so I have got some glycerin rivers I can see did I say I was going to get some I can't remember it was yesterday how would I remember that I said it in one of them I can't remember which one so <laughs> but there you go that's pretty good I like that Considering how different it looks from one end to the other, I think it did well. So, alrighty. Well, that's it. Excellent. I'll see you for the next one, guys. Alright. Bye.